right, guys, so we need to continue and find other angles on our paper plate. So the next thing I need you to do is fold your plate in half twice so that you're only looking at quadrant one, but then take quadrant one and fold it in half one more time. Crease as much as you can. It's not easy. You've got a thick piece of uh, paper plate underneath, but do your best to make a crease. And think about what you just did. You found half of 90 degrees, which is 45 degrees. So each of those new creases when you open up your plate represents a 45 degree multiple. The first thing you do then in quadrant one is label 45 degrees right on that new crease. Half of 90 is 45. Now, we just said half of 90 is 45. Well, if 90 degrees is pi over two radians, then half of pi over two is pi over four radians. So the radian name for 45 degrees is pi over four. One half times one half is one fourth. Okay, so again, every new crease is a multiple of 45, or the members, they're children of the 45 family, if you wanna relate it to the transformations we did. I colored my 45 green, when I move over into quadrant two and mark its child on its grease, crease, <laughs> I make it green as well. Same in quadrant three and quadrant four. And now I can figure out the degree and radian values of those marks. Again, they're members of the 45 family. I'm 45 degrees before 180. So I do 180 minus 45 to determine but that angle measure is 135. I can count around my plate by fourths. One pi fourth, two pi fourths, three pi fourths. At three pi fourths, I'm at 135 degrees. So the second name for 135 degrees is three pi fourths radians. And we continue the pattern. Beyond 180, 45 degrees past 180 is 225. You can label that crease mark as 225. And then again, count by pi fourths to figure out its radian name. One pi fourth, two pi fourths, three pi fourths, four pi fourths, five pi fourths. 225 degrees is five pi over four radians. And similarly in quadrant four, we aren't quite to 360, we're 45 degrees short. So we find its value by taking 360 minus 45 and getting 315 degrees. After you've marked 315 degrees, you can count by pi fourths one more time to figure out the radian measure. These are all pi fourths families. They're all multiples of 45. So here we go. One pi fourth, two pi fourths, three pi fourths, four pi fourths, five pi fourths, six pi fourths, seven pi fourths, radians is 315 degrees. So now all of your 45 family members have two names. We'll figure out the third names later on. Make sure your plate's accurate to this point. Go around again, one pi fourth, two pi fourths, three pi fourths, four pi fourths, five pi fourths, six pi fourths, seven pi fourths, eight pi fourths, and we could keep going, nine pi fourths, 10 pi fourths, if we wanted to or needed to, but generally we won't. It's counting fractions, just like when we were littler. Okay, so our next family is the 30 family. We aren't gonna fold, we're gonna estimate to find 30. 30 is a third of 90, so we'll go about a third of the way up, quadrant one, and mark 30 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfect, just gives us the right idea. Well, 30 is 180 divided by six. So 30 degrees is pi over six radians. Remembering always that pi radians is 180 degrees. 180 divided by six is 30. So we're gonna do what we just did with the uh, 45s, but fold or reflect our plate in that 30 degree mark into quadrant two and make a mark in quadrant two where it lands on the unit circle. That's the reflection in quadrant two of 30. It's its child. Take that new point and fold your plate on the x-axis to get its child in three. 
Again, these won't be perfect, but they're going to be nice little estimations and nice markings for you to help you study. So make your mark in quadrant three, and then you'll do the same for quadrant four. Take your original 30 degree or pi sixth mark, fold on the x-axis until you get its reflection in quadrant four. Okay. Now that we have all the marks, we can do exactly what we did with the 45 family to find the 30 children. 180 minus 30 is 150 degrees. So the quadrant two child is 150 degrees. 150 is 5 times 30. So since 30 is pi 6 radians, 150 degrees will be 5 times pi 6 radians, or 5 pi over 6. In quadrant 3, 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees. And 210 is 7 times 30. So 210 degrees is 7 pi over 6 radians. Finally, in quadrant 4, 360 minus 30 is 330. And there are 11 pi sixths in 330. 30 times 11 is 330. 11 pi over 6 radians is 330 degrees. Make sure your 30s are all labeled correctly. Our final family is the 60 family. Again, like 30, we estimate where it will be. Notice how close that mark is to our one radian mark. That'll keep reminding you that one radian is 57 degrees approximately. So 60 degrees is just past that. Since 60 is 180 divided by 3, 60 degrees is pi thirds radians. Go around your plate, reflecting over y and x to get the 60 degree children in all of your quadrants. And again, we'll continue figuring out the values like we did with the others. 180 minus 60 is 120 degrees. 60 is two times, or sorry, 120 is two times 60. So two pi thirds radians is 120 degrees. Everything is a multiple. 180 plus 60 is 240 degrees. 60 times 4 is 240 degrees, so 4 pi over 3 radians is 2 pi, or sorry, is 240 degrees. And finally, the last quadrant, 300 minus 60 is 300 degrees. 5 times 60 is 300, so 5 pi thirds radians is 300 degrees. And that's it for tonight. Take some time now, if you need to pause this frame and make sure that your plate's correctly labeled, double check, triple check, and then study. You need to know your plate really well. We're going to be continuing with it tomorrow. Have a good night.